What's going on people and welcome to my World Cup team of the tournament. This one's been in the making for a little while, I've been meaning to do it. I am aware that I haven't done my top 10 all-time league R kits, but that video will be coming in the next few days, hopefully. Obviously Christmas is coming up, so it might be after Christmas, but it will be coming. I dropped a United match recap and player ratings earlier for yesterday's Carabao Cup game victory over Burnley. If you haven't seen it, go over to the channel and check that out. But team of the tournament... In goal, Lev Levakovic, uh, the Croatia keeper. He really impressed me in this tournament. Numerous shootouts he was involved in, helped his team progress through penalties. And even throughout the game, in, in terms of 90 minutes and stuff, I thought he was superb and deserved to be in, a, in the team of the tournament for me. There's a few in there that was contenders, maybe Martinez for Argentina. Lloris, if you want to throw him in there, but I, I don't think Lloris should be. Bono, was it, um, from Morocco, I thought. He probably would have been my other keeper, if I'm honest. I personally had it between Bono and Lovakovic. Um, Not so much Martinez, because I feel like he hasn't had to save his team as much. Um, so I'd go Lovakovic in goal. At right back, I've gone with Hakimi. Um, Morocco, obviously, the first African nation to go as far as they have to semi-finals in a World Cup. That is a massive achievement. Huge congrats to them. And he is a vital part of that squad. I thought he had a really good tournament and helped solidify that back line. Hakimi, and he obviously offers that attack well through the wing-back role he plays. Hakimi, right back. And then I've got the centre-back. Guardiol, or if you say his name, from Croatia. Very impressed with him in this tournament. I think he will get a move. There's a lot of clubs after him, a lot of Premier League clubs and clubs in Europe after his signature, and I think it will happen this season. Um, brilliant tournament and helped Croatia get as far as they did. My other centre-back would be Upper Meccano for France. I thought even with Varane's experience and what everything Varane's won, I think Upper Meccano looked the better of the two in terms of he's got youth on his side, he's, I think he's more agile, he's quicker. I thought he was a real pest for attackers to get past, so... I think he deserves to be in this, and I don't think enough people are talking about his performance in this French squad throughout the tournament. Left back with Hernandez for France, Theo Hernandez. He's so attacking for a fullback, very aggressive, can defend as well, and I think he got his team out of situations in that tournament almost single handedly at times. And in the final, three midfielders I've gone with I've gone with two French and a Croatian. On the right, I've gone Griezmann. Such an understated tournament for him. I think I give Mbappe my player of the tournament personally. Griezmann would have got it otherwise. I know Messi won the World Cup and I was delighted he did. But I feel like Mbappe and Griezmann had better individual performances than Messi did over the duration of the tournament. Griezmann, second place player of the tournament for me. And he's so understated in this French team doing what he does. Because he's almost like a box-to-box a -box, but also... A, an attacking midfielder as a number 10 but he can defend and he, his energy and work rate over the pitch is unmatched brilliant tournament for him and he done it coming off the back of a poor season for his club huge credit another guy in the middle Chiumini. um for a guy playing in the center midfield role as he does he's very young and you got to be disciplined to play that area and i think he's so vital in what france do and and did in the tournament that I was so impressed by him. It's the first time I've watched him. I've heard about him for a while through Monaco and now he's at Madrid. But I haven't watched him for his clubs. It's the first time I've watched him properly and I was seriously impressed with him knowing that he's still very young but he's performing like he's got the experience and, and that maturity. Brilliant tournament from him. Obviously a great goal against England as well. On the left of the midfield I've gone with Kovacic. I thought he was I think Modric had a good tournament, as did Brozovic. But Kovacic, for me, out of the three in midfield for Croatia, looked the most threatening on the ball. Even over Modric, for me, because he gets forward a bit more than Modric does now. And I think he offers a bit more in terms of dribbling and things like that in tight spaces. So Kovacic, decent tournament, understated, I believe. Right, I've had to kind of shoehorn him in a little bit because he's been playing more in the centre for Argentina in the tournament. But I've gone with Messi. Obviously, won his World Cup that's always eluded him. I'm so glad he did it before he retired. He deserves it. And I think he goes down as one of the greatest ever. He was gone to anyway, but now 
this solidifies it even more. I can't say any more about it. Um, Sharu is my number nine. Broke Henri's record during the tournament. I love Henri. Sharu is so underrated. He has been his whole career, whether it's for country or club. And what he offers to that French team had a pretty quiet final, but getting him to that final, I believe he's played a huge part in his goals, got him there. Great player, very understated, and probably wouldn't have even featured much if Benzema was in the squad, which is crazy to think. And then on the left to complete this, it has to be my player of the tournament, Kylian Mbappe. I felt sorry for him in the final parade after the final where they had the photo opportunities on the stage where he collected his um, golden boot for the tournament. And then he had to take a picture with Messi and Martinez in a free freeway, basically, of a picture. And you could tell he wanted to just disappear, and I don't blame him. He almost single-handedly, with his goals in the final, won his team the final against arguably the greatest ever player. And obviously he needs to get service for them goals, but some of them, and some of the goals and dribbling and stuff he did during the tournament were unbelievable. And I think he had a poor Euros before this, and he answered the critics, in, in my head anyway, go to his class. You could see what it meant to him after the final, sitting on the bench with his like his shirt and that over his head and just, just wanted to disappear and sorrow. And he was the golden boot winner for the tournament, even though they didn't win it. I actually think he had a better finals performance than Messi did. It's up for debate. Messi won the whole thing. Congratulations. But I think Mbappe was player of the tournament. And he got the golden boot. I know Messi got player of the tournament officially. But I would have given it to Mbappe. Or Griezmann ahead of Messi, even though Messi won it. My team of the tournament, let me know yours in the comments. Lavakovic in goal. Hakimi on the right back position. Guardiol, Upamecano. Theo Hernandez for the defence, Griezmann, Chouamini, Kovacic in the midfield, and then the attacking front three, Messi on the right, Giroud at number nine, and Mbappe on the left. Let me know yours in the comments, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and make sure your notifications are on so you know when I'm dropping videos. And look out for that top 10 league R kits, which will be coming probably after Christmas now, but keep an eye out for it. And don't forget to get voting in the community tab for the next player versus player as well. Catch you guys soon.